Well, it's a problem you don't think of, but weeds and algae buildup pose a constant challenge to the Salt River Project's canal system that flows through the valley as it can slow down the flow of water. Yeah, to clear the buildup, crews dump thousands of fish into the canals that eat this stuff, that eat the algae. Stephanie Olmo is live with more on this program. Steph. That's right, guys. The canals provide water to over 2 million Valley residents. SRP is responsible for keeping its 131 mile uh, canal system in operating condition, and having white amber fish around is helping them do just that. More than 5,000 fish delivered from Arkansas being released into the SRP canal system. So fish will spread out and school with the older fish and uh, just kind of bolster the populations uh, throughout the canal and take care of the vegetation. This year, approximately 12,000 fish have been delivered. Yeah, we want the fish to stay in the canal system uh, where they can do their job, which is essentially eating the aquatic vegetation. It's all part of SRP's White Aimer Fish Program, which started back in 1989. Brian Moorhead is an environmental scientist with SRP. He says White Aimer Fish aren't your ordinary fish. They eat weeds and algae, consuming up to two thirds of their body weight daily, growing to an average of 30 inches in length. They're very hardy fish that they can put up with a lot of temperature variations and even though warmer summer, t summer temperatures as well. So they do very well suited for us in, this, uh, in our environment. Brian says they're protected under the Arizona Game and Fish Fishing License Program. It's illegal to take the white aimer fish out of the canal system because they are brought in to do a specific job. They are some of our smaller employees because they are here working for us. Uh, doing a job 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so that we don't have to put quite so much manpower into re removing the vegetation by those mechanical means. Now, prior to the program, crews would have to go and scrape the canal beds with chains to remove the vegetation, which is very costly. But since the program has been in place, they are now saving hundreds of thousands of dollars in annual operating costs. Reporting live tonight, I'm Stephanie Olmo, Fox 10 News.